Alright, so welcome back guys, or welcome if this is your first time here. I'm Vision here with Blind Iron Team and bringing you guys in our video. Today I'm going to be giving my review of The Walking Dead 3rd series spinoff uh, trailer that was released this past weekend at New York Comic Con. So if The Walking Dead is something you're interested in, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and hit that bell icon. That would miss any more Walking Dead content from me moving forward. Now let's begin. So like I said, we got our first look at The Walking Dead 3rd spinoff going as monument for right now we got the, the first trailer during new york comic con this past weekend now i'm a little mixed on this trailer i thought some aspects of it were good some aspects of it made me cringe and like think that amc has lost their minds when i look at this trailer i look and think oh my god did they go to jason raffenberg and the cw for ideas for a show because all i can think of is the hundred I've been saying this if you watch any of my other videos regarding this new spinoff. I keep saying it looks like The 100. And the trailer is even furthering my belief that it's going to be like The 100. Now, I've said it before, and I don't know if I mentioned it on video, but The 100 should be an example of everything not to do to a Walking Dead TV series. The 100, in my opinion, is bad. I love Fear more than I like The 100, if that says anything, because everybody says Fear Season 5 is bad. I would watch Fear Season 5 a hundred times over, then go back and watch The 100. I can barely get through an episode half the time. But, so I'm like nervous. Even the concepts of this are mirroring The 100. You got these young adults in this post-apocalyptic world, they go out, out and explore this new world for the first time. You got the adults who are trying to build this new world and are separate. So it just reminds me of this whole hundred idea. I don't know. I like the idea of the series. It looks interesting. And I I just still though feel this sense of worry when I look at this show. I mean, even at end like post credit scene, I get it, people liked it. I found that to be the most cringiest scene in any trailer in a long time. It's not the fact that they threw up on the walker. That's not the issue I have. It's what the girls said after the fact. I'm like, oh my god, who who allowed that to be put in the trailer? Like, it was cringy. It, it, I, I hated that. Then you got the few adult characters. I feel like they're doing that just to bring in the adult audience. I do believe that this spinoff is going to be aimed at a younger audience, like the preteen, teens, maybe early 20s. But even me, like, I look at that and, okay, that kind of fits where I am as an age range. But even me, I'm like, no, this looks bad. And they got the few adults. I think they're going to be Huck and Felix, or maybe, I'm not sure. That that's gonna keep people the adult audience around for a bit, but they can't pull one hundred and just kill off the main adults like they've done in the past two seasons, cause then you alienate your adult fan base. Cause like, for lack of a better words, adults aren't really gonna be attached to these teenagers. I mean, sure they might be interested in them, but like when you look at someone like Rick Grimes. An adult male can kind of feel like they are, can be Rick Grimes or Glenn. But when you look at these kids, adults aren't going to be able to look at them and say, Oh my God, that's me. Kids will be able to do that, but adults not so much. I don't know. It's just, I'm I'm still nervous. This, this, this thing that is, I don't know, monument is just worrisome. And like I said, it just hasn't... Sp- uh, given me hope that this is going to be good. I mean, the adult cast looks okay. I mean, it, I've liked the guy who's playing the father of Hope and Iris, so I like him. I for a second during the show, I thought that I got, they got had gotten Jason David Frank to portray a character that'd been cool. Just the voice sounded very similar. That'd have been cool, but I don't know this this trailer just. Is making me nervous. Because again. The 100 isn't a great show. People try and yell at me. And tell me I'm an idiot for saying that. But it really is a horrible show. CW makes childish TV shows. If you're my honest opinion. 
for the most part that I've seen at least and bothered to watch. And a few adult pro- pro- uh, programs that they put out there get canceled within a season. So I'm like, I don't know. This is worrisome. I, I don't want this to be the 100 2.0, which it keeps making me feel like it is going to be. And I, I, I don't know. It just looks like something you'd see on Freeform or the CW. I don't know. I'm worried, and I really, really don't want to be worried. I want us to get another great Walking Dead spinoff. I still think Fear is decent. The main show's good. But we still need another show. So I think we need this one to be successful. Especially for the Fear haters who think it's trash right now. We need a good one. And I'm just worried that this one won't won't live up to people's expectations. Because it's not really looking like it's going to live up to my expectations. I like the idea that they are going out west in Nebraska. Which is very interesting. I have another video coming out soon that I have a theory that it might connect the main show to this crossover with something that happened in the comics. So I think that might be something that's possible. But I'm very... I'm very nervous still. Because this could either make or break the Walking Dead franchise. And I know people are saying Fear is killing the franchise. Fear is okay to decent. But this. This could ruin it permanently. Like if you go to the kid aspect of the Walking Dead. I don't know. It just doesn't feel like it's going to work for the Walking Dead setting. And I know. I laugh at all the idiots out there who are saying, oh, they toned down fear. It's the kids now. It's only for kids. It's like, go shut up. Fear is not aimed for kids. If you're really believed that, you need to go reevaluate yourself. Because that is not true. And for me, again, I take fear 10 times over the 100. And this is looking like the 100. So make it out what you will. But I am just nervous. I, I don't know. And I've said that probably multiple times now, but it just, I don't know. Because I want the Walking Dead franchise to be good. We're going into 10 years of The Walking Dead. And I don't know. It just feels like AMC is just trying to milk it at this point. And I hate to be that guy that says that because I want The Walking Dead to be around. I don't want it to be milked to death. I want it to be here, be good. And I feel like AMC is, I don't know, it feels like they're doing something that shouldn't be done. And it just makes me worried. But overall, again, I'm hopeful, opti- uh, kind of cautiously optimistic right now still. But let me know your thoughts and opinions about this show in the comment section down below. So yeah, guys, those are my quick thoughts and opinions regarding The Walking Dead third spinoff New York Comic Con trailer. As always, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and share. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and hit that bell icon. That way you miss more Walking Dead content from me moving forward. And you can go follow me on Instagram and Twitter, which are linked in the About section of this YouTube channel. As always, this has been Vision here with Blind Entertainment, and I'll see you next time.